Hi everyone, this is D. I just wanted to quickly make this video to show you a tool I've been working on today. So this video clip you're looking at now is a recording from my original Let's Play of Lava Inc., which is a roller coaster trip through a lava factory, uh, which was created for the Oculus Rift Development Kit 2. And as with all DK2 demos, uh, there's a left and right eye view, and they are distorted. That's why they look like they're barrel shaped. And that's to compensate for the d distortion introduced by the lenses inside the DK2. So they they don't look distorted when you view them inside the rift, but they do when you view them on your monitor. So I've talked to some people who are interested in presenting an undistorted view of DK2 applications on their monitor. And I don't know if I would use this format necessarily for my own videos, but I think it's uh, definitely something a lot of people are interested in and something that might be useful sometimes. So I've been working on a tool to do this um, for any DK2 video. So I'll show you in a second what it looks like. So here we are. This is the exact same video, except that I have run it through my tool, which um, completely unwarps it and straightens all the lines. So all the lines you'll notice on the walls and the floor are now perfectly straight. There is no distortion. Um, this is pretty much just exactly how the application originally renders it. Um, the main difference is that it's a little blurrier near the edges than the original rendering would have been. Um, and uh, the resolution here is actually 2364 by 1461. Uh, that is the uh, default resolution of a Unity render target. And uh, so that's, I'm downscaling it a bit here to fit it in this video, um, but that's quite a lot of pixels to work with. And, um, and it, it's pretty handy to be able to have the full resolution render target and be able to crop that or zoom that or use pieces of it if you want to. Um, another thing that my tool can do, as I'm about to show you now, is you can um, also tell it to render a 1080p video. And if you tell it to render a 1080p video, it will basically crop out the centers of the, uh, of the full 2364 by 1461 video. So you'll just have a 960 by 540 on the left, a 960 by 540 on the right. So it's still side-by-side -side stereo 3D. And um, this gets rid of those uh, fuzzy blue borders, which are a side effect of the, um, of the uh, fade out around the original bubbles in the DK2 application. And it also, um, and, and it fits nicely in a 1080p format. And it's, it's pretty sharp because the center is the sharpest part of the image. So this is a, uh, and it also renders faster, uh, quite a bit faster when the tool is used in this mode. Um, and the other thing that you can do, which is pretty handy, is you can go back to the original full-size render target and you can crop it very carefully and you can use that to produce a mono view like this. So this is, I went to the render target and I cropped the left eye view and I cropped it very carefully so that the left and right sides were just touching those fuzzy black borders, uh, just going a little tiny bit into them. And so now you get this thing that looks a lot like a standard monitor view of a game. Um, but it can still be generated from the same video that you record while you're playing it inside your DK2. So this is pretty handy. It is a lower resolution than the other modes, um, just because you don't have as many pixels to work with. Um, this is uh, effectively about, um, I, I, I want to say about a thousand pixels wide, maybe a little bit wider. And um, so it's, it's not going to fill up a 1920-1080 window, um, but, but it's still it's still um, it's still usable, and it, if you want to get the ideal quality uh, mono view, you can use this. You can also record the original video at higher resolution if you want to get more details in the mono view. Finally, I just want to show you how I use the tool. It's pretty simple. Uh, it's a modified version of FFmpeg, which is a popular command line utility for manipulating and editing videos. I'm just going to type dot slash FFmpeg to run my private version of FFmpeg. I have not yet made this available for public distribution because it only works with uh, currently with A cups and with my particular uh, user settings, but I'm going to make it compatible with, um, with all settings. And then I'm going to be sure to publicly distribute it. So hang on if you want to try it. And I'm going to give it an input file with dash I. I'm going to give it lava clip which is just a 10 second video from Lava Inc. And then I'm going to specify my video filter with dash VF. It is called DK2 Unwarp. I have to give a resolution. I can give the resolution of the render target if I want the full render target, or I can give 
1920-1080 if I only wanted to crop out the center, uh, like I did in that second video that I showed you. And finally, I have to specify how to encode the output video. I'm just going to uh, set my audio codec, codec audio, to copy, so that the audio will be copied from the input video to the output. And for the um, video encoding, I'm going to use libx264 for h264 encoding. And that should be that. Now I'm just going to type an output file name, let's say lava 1080p mp4, and I'm going to hit enter. And here we go, it is encoding. Now currently it encodes at um, about uh, about half real time for a 30 FPS video, or about one fourth real time for a 60 FPS video. So it's a little bit slow. Um, there's a lot of room for improvement. In particular, I would like to implement GPU acceleration for it using OpenCL. There are a few FFmpeg filters that do use OpenCL, and I'm sure that will be a lot faster, perhaps even real time or faster. And this is only a 10 second video, so it should be done pretty soon. And then I will show it to you. And this is literally all it takes to produce a video like this. And then you can uh, drop it into your editing software and use it right away. Uh, with Premiere Pro, I find I have to re-encode the video first, or maybe I just haven't found the right FFmpeg settings. It doesn't like this particular video that's generated by FFmpeg. But if I re-encode it with Handbrake, it's totally fine with it. All right, so it is now generated, the um, Lava 1080p video. And if I just run VLC on it, You can see, here is my totally straight lines, totally unwarped video, running at 60 frames a second. So that's it. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know if you would like to see any of uh, this tool used on this channel at all, or if you prefer to have it with the distorted views so that you can watch in your DK2. And uh, let me know if you are interested in trying out this tool for your own recordings or on your own YouTube channel. That's all for today. Everybody have a great every day.